everyone, it's Maria Solitary Witch Tracks here. Um, this is for my week three of the YouTube Pagan Challenge of my sacred space and my altar. Um, right now I'm in my bedroom, which is where my altars are. I have one downstairs too, actually, which I will get to when we get there. Um, okay, so let's see if I can do it this way. Okay, so this is my altar. There you go. Um, sorry, this is kind of hard doing it from like this. But as you can see, I just finished my morning ritual, which is basically a prayer of thanks and a drawing of my cards. Um, okay, so there is my witch's ball. Um, this is where I do a lot of my magic. I'm very big. <clears throat> I'm a very big fan of candle and fire magic, and so I have the shell, and you can see all the wax that's been melting on every time I use it, but. I put a tea light candle and dress it in herbs and oils and things like that and um, burn it and leave it on this platter. And so you can see the residues of my previous spells on that. And usually I do that for healing or if I would try to draw something to me. Um, this is my goddess pillar candle. She and, and I don't know how to clean her out. I don't know if you can see it like that. But yeah. <laughs> this is my ancestors. This is my great um, grandfather and grandmother. My Lola and my Lola. And an ancestor candle I have for them. And then just a uh, little cup of stones, my grounding stones. On um, there is my um, candle for the great spirit. And then here right here I have a, a medicine pouch I made a long time ago that I wear for rituals. In the um, center, oh goodness this is really hard. In the center I have my crystal grids, moonstone, and quartz. I have the sense of full moon to help me get in touch with my feminine divine energies. I probably am going to switch it up soon, but um, right now it's really relaxing for me. And since I'm not in school or anything anymore, I don't really need a grounding grid or ground grounding grid or like a focus grid or things like that. Um, this is my God candle, and then have acorn like a giant pine cone I've had since God. I think it was like 13, 14, so like almost 10 years. I don't know how to survive. And then um, my drinking horn, which um, oops. I I don't know if you don't know, but um. My father has Germanic Norse in his blood, and so I'm very big into um, Asutaru and also just um, acknowledging that side of my ancestry and being in touch with it. Um, I also have, uh, I guess, I got this in EWF Earth Warriors Festival in Ohio a long time ago. Um, oh, this is so hard. Uh, you can see there's a Viking ship and there's runes on the other side. Ah, I'm so sorry. Okay, cool. <laughs> And then I have a mirror in the background. This is one um, that was given to me, I think, during my 18th or 19th birthday. Um, I was very big into Bast. She was my first goddess. That, well, not my first goddess, but she was my main goddess for a really long time, like four or six years. And um, I had on her. And I really like having it behind my um, great spirit candle because it just serves as a reflection towards me and my practice, I guess. Not like in a vain way, but like, you know, a spiritual reflection of my practice. Um, and then this is my smudge bowl. I have candles in here. These are from my um, previous spells I did with my candle work. And then I have sage stick and no sage stick and Palo Santo. This stuff smells so good. I need to get some more. So if you guys know where to get any, please holler and let me know. Um, yeah, so this is just a. I like this altar cloth because it's just like a really neutral altar cloth. Um, I used to have a bare wood underneath, like I used to use just bare wood, but like honestly collected a lot of dust and you could see the dust and I was like, eh, kind of thing. So yeah, so this is my main altar. It has the great spirit, um, the goddess, and the god, and then um, ancestors over there, and then just crystal work here, and I do my spell work over there, and then you can see um, I pulled my card for the day, which is Cave Sanctuaries from Steam D Farmer's Earth Magic Oracle deck, which is my absolute favorite. Um, which is good because today I have off and I'm planning on wallowing in my house anyways my sister and like doing hair masks and stuff so it's all good in the hood and then behind it I have this fair, this giant fairy tapestry that I got in college and it just kind of brings like a mystical air you know a fun playful air to my workspace and then over here I have um why did I do that I could turn the other way <laughs> I have Durga and then I have my drum, which sounds really awesome. I wonder if I can sound it right now. Probably not. Um, let's see if I can set this down somewhere so you guys can see. Uh -huh. Nope. Okay, 
just bear with me. Okay. <laughs> so this is my amazing drum. I actually got um and from Chris and Voking the Balance. I got it from her mother. Joanne went from Drum Circles. And that was when um Chris and her husband had, I guess not exactly a drawing ritual, but like a welcome into the family as a you know as a couple who's married. So this is my drum. stiff right now. I haven't been trying it. But um yeah so planning on um I have wood burners. I'm gonna burn some runes around it. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna paint on the edges maybe more runes. I think I'll paint a Viking ship in it. <laughs> okay, enough of that. <clears throat> okay. And then um I have some more things underneath here. I have a protection poppet and incense burner, cone, dragon thingy. Um, and then I have my dream catcher over my bed that I got from Earthbound Trading Company and I really like it because I do tend to lean to like I guess heavier grounding darker energies a little bit. I mean my goddess is Hecate but then again my god is Shiva who is a god of enlightenment but he's also a destroyer like if you piss him off and he'll dance on demons and stuff like that it's great. <laughs> this is my Hecate altar and I have my Shiva altar downstairs. Sorry, the sun's in my face, but, um, yes, yeah, so this is my Hecate altar, um, I, and mainly, like, my moon working. I have my, uh, moonstone and clear quartz wand, which I absolutely love, um, and then labradorite, which, if you don't know, it's my favorite stone of all. I wonder if you can get this on, if you almost shine it. Can I see right there? Yeah. It's my favorite stone of all time, um... I can't remember what this is. My father gave it to me um, from his job. It's a type of coal. It's been so compressed. It became all metal and silvery looking. But um, I use that for a lot of grounding. And then this is my chakra crystals over there. Um, this is my reflective mirror for um, my new moon rituals. And this tarot deck is called Tarot of the Spirit. It's, um, they don't make it anymore. It's just one of those rare um, limited edition tarot decks. But um, it's one of my favorites to work with. I'm not a big tarot fan. But I do like this deck a lot, and that's why I got it. <clears throat> there is um, my cauldron, which I do. Like, if I do um, smudgings or cleansings, I usually I put herbs in there. And I'll just burn that shit. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> these crystals are more like my lighter crystals. So you can see them. They're less grounding. And so I keep them here, because I like to keep my grounding crystals and then like my higher frequency crystals separate from each other, just because of their energies. Um, my Hecate candle, god this is so hard to see from here, okay. <clears throat> There's my Hecate candle, and then I have like a little snake around here, because she's known for her, she has her, um, a snake and a dog, I think are her two symbols. And then more snakes, and this is a picture I actually drew. Um, it's a, <clears throat> it is a mixed media painting. I painted it and I used oil pastels and colored pencils. Um, one thing with me, um, Hecate, she's almost like a faceless goddess. Um, Chris and I have this in common, so we thought that was pretty cool. But um, yeah, she's more like a faceless goddess and wearing a hood. That's how I see her when I talk to her. So um, yeah, so she has a key in one hand, a sword in the other, and there's two dogs on the opposite side of her. There's a figure in the middle and her in the sides looking, signaling her crossroads and being able to look all three ways. And then I just have like a goddess statue, candle, <clears throat> and um, some treats. And then of course my crystals are up here charging some of them. And this is my sea witch's bottle. I love, I have a book on sea witch um, magic or sea magic and this is my sea witch's bottle. Which is I guess kind of like to tra help transform the energies. Like, at least in my mind, what I get is, like, it would soak up, like, negative energies and stuff and transform it into the ocean. And, like, the ocean is such a clean and purifying thing. It'll just, like, turn in these very clean and useful energies that you can have. Alright, so I'm going to turn this off and go downstairs, and then you'll see my Shiva altar down there. Okay, I am back, and I'm at my, um, Shiva yoga altar, I guess you can say. Um, there's my little kitty. <clears throat> it's right next to the window, so it's really nice. So, here we go. Um, there's an image. I'll pull it out. Uh, this is the image of Shiva that I made. Kind of like the same thing I made Hecate. 
um, mixed media paint. He has a crescent moon in his hair. There's this uh, cobra. Um, he has a drum and a trident. He is a being of enlightenment and compassion, but he can also be very deadly. He um, has m many times depicted on uh, dancing on demons and destroying the things in your life that can um, hold you down. Your like inner demons, basically helping you to start anew and afresh. And so, <clears throat> this is his candle, and then I have his demon dancing pose, and then um, him in a triple form with his uh, trident. Um, I also have uh, Chen Ray Zeke, and then my. Um, singing bowl and candles and stuff like that. It's a very light space, so there's a lot of um, plants and candles and things like that. Um, but yeah, those are my altars. I have my main altar of the goddess and the god and great spirit, and then I have my Hecate altar and my Shiva altar. Um, so yeah, it's really nice. Like having, I have a bigger space now than I did before. Um, in my old apartment, I can only have really one altar. But now I have three, so it's really awesome. Especially since I can have them for different purposes. And it just makes, I guess, my whole house a Vegas space almost. The living room, not so much, because that's where um, this one's located is in the living room. So, but um, it kind of works because I do my yoga down here. And Shiva is who you invoke. Shiva or Ganesh, which I also have a Ganesh statue right there. With some offerings. Um, so, yeah. So, those is good. it's honestly a better place for me to do my, or have my Shiva altar. But, yeah. This is really awesome. I just, I'm glad I like sharing my stuff with people. And it's also really, I love seeing altar videos. Like, altar videos are one of my favorites. So, I love seeing everyone else's altars. And I cannot wait for next week's challenge. Bye, guys. Namaste.